Welcome back everyone to Old World Blues, the A to Z series in which we're playing in Canada. Or we're really playing as the Congress of Manitoba, formerly known as the Emetis Congress, which I'm sure I'm still saying wrong, but now we're at war with the King of Manitoba. They actually declared war upon us. I didn't want to go to war, and uh, we weren't really ready to go to war, um, but uh, here we're at. Yeah, we got up to 44 divisions, quite a few. We've uh, gotten rid of 45 of them, um, and we've lost about two guys so far. Oh, that's not us. 82 guys. So, we're, 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 we're trying. Um, it's not going great. But it's going. It could be worse. At this point, we've got an encirclement already made. Um, really, I think our main goal is to, of course, encircle and destroy enemy uh, divisions. Like always. Um, how about you guys hold and combine so you can help destroy this division a little faster? Because once this division goes away, we'll be okay. We have special forces over here as well. Um, other than that, I think we should do okay overall. Uh, the capital is completely cut off. That's nice. These guys are almost done. Good and good. See what you can do here. Oh, yeah, I really didn't want to go to war. Um, I was actually very surprised to see them wanting to come and kill us. Hey, we finished that school. Look at that. Nice. Uh, actually, at this point, it's not manpower that's the issue. I think it's just guns and everything else. Guns and everything else, you know. Who needed money? They're still fighting each other up there, which is fine. Who cares? You know, let them have their fun. Um, oh, I can click on the right stuff, yes. Ooh, I could use more caffeine too. Ooh, we can't buy anything. Middle marks are plus. Oh, I like how this is different too. Warden remnants. I never actually noticed all this before. Uh, political actions are fine. Science is fine. Science. Uh, find some uh, of those guys. Industry, don't really care too much. Drastic measures, not too much either. Can you take the capital? I don't expect to take very much from these guys. Ah, oh, there you go. Nice job. Uh, but I do expect us to do decently. So at this point, let's go and just kill them all. Well, you guys are uh, trying your best. Okay, go here. Go here. Go here. Go here. We're doing what we can. Oh, oh, they're gone. We definitely can't take the capital, so how about we just take what we... Okay, that's all we can take. Well, actually, I think this was their capital. Longenburg was the original capital. Uh-huh. Hmm. Well, we'll see what we can take. 14. D? Yeah? And um, we don't need very much. Wouldn't mind taking a ship or two as well. No, that's not bad. You want to take anything else? Not really. Duck mouth. I mean, it'll make it have really ugly borders. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll take the ships. Because um, I mean, we're still kind of reeling from the last episode where we were trying to core all this stuff. Um, ah, a sense of preparation. Preparedness. Oh, nobody, we want mini nukes? Fool's errand. Nuclear energy. Let's go with nuclear energy. By having our soldiers prepare for whatever may come their way, we can ensure that their lives are safe even more so if they're completely kitted out, head to toe, and whatever they may need. Of course. Uh, I think I read through some of these. Establish Assiniboine ports. The rivers of Canada were of great importance for ancestors, particularly for being the lifeline through which people and goods came and went. With a rebellion from the kingdom, though, acts to the Assiniboine, which I'm sure I'm saying wrong, from the western shores greatly limited, it would be smart to rectify this. And do they start justifying against us for a territory and whatnot? Hopefully not. I really hope not. But you never know. Because really, our next goal is the Great Stampede. This is where we really wanted to go. Um, and we should be able to do okay against them. They're still fighting up here. Yep. <sighs> Fantastic. Uh, resolution, da -da -da. Metal working's good. Can we put in more labs yet? No, not really. But we'll be thinking metal. A little ahead of time here. Uh, pot standardization. Training appointment's good. Uh, we could demand it, but now we're just going to wait for that stuff. So, next up, uh, we're renovating Highway 18. The Great War came and went long ago, and yet most of Canada's roads and infrastructure still left in disrepair. If we want to be able to transport goods and people and materials across our lands quickly, we'll first need to restore the highway that cuts to the south. Ah, oh, very nice. No, we can't do this one. Call upon veterans of the revolution. Oh. Yeah. I think we read that one too. I think we read this one too as well. Our people have always been known as resourceful, as well as for developing very valuable methods of foraging food and storing it. We may integrate some of these into our regiment's training in order to give them the knowledge to be functionally self-sufficient. By incorporating this, we also encourage them to build support between one another. 
Not a bad idea. So we got a lot of this stuff down, which is nice. Uh, 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 just double check our divisions, because we don't have a lot of uh, material wealth to go around right now. So we're looking pretty good overall. These guys need what to finish them off? LMGs, that's nice. Good stuff. Uh, I would like to do this one next down here at the bottom for the Doctrine. Um, Sisters of Steel is getting pretty thick. War propaganda wouldn't be bad. Continue to optimize training for now. Can we build up Regina anymore? I think that's something. Yes, we can. Awesome. Animal observations are good. Uh, Night Stalker tactics, yes. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh, and promote it one more time at least. Well, that'd be fantastic. Excellente. Are we still building in Regina? Yes, we are. Awesome. No longer increasing our power, but that's all right. You know, it happens. Uh, let's see what we got here. I'll uh, go ahead and do that. It helps us with research speed, which is good. Get some radio, that'd be nice. Uh, how are we doing on the lack of infantry equipment, fire teams, and all that stuff? Yes. Yes. Uh-huh. 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 We buy what we must. So how many divisions do they have right now? Well, we have 15 here. They've up to 22. We actually might have more divisions than they do. What are we lacking? Anti-tank. Fire teams. So there's one more on there. And one more for these guys. Or by one, that's fine. Uh, robots. Probably not automated warfare, you know, just saying. Our revolt was pieced together by those sick of Manitoban rule, unorganized in its essence. Those who fought did so with a fierce passion for freedom from the crown of their heart. Their passion still has a place in our army and can be refined to become a sharp tool against our enemies. Yeah. Very nice. Middle mark. Love the soundtrack from Middle Mark. Oh, new research department. We could, or just straight up ascend there. Uh, we'll not get these labs back and get a fifth research slot. You know what? How much science points we got? We could do this and plan building more labs. You know what? Let's go with a fifth research slot. At least having where we're at, civilized tech, is actually pretty good already. You could get, you know, scientific tech, but to get a scientific tech, that's very difficult to get to. It takes, it's not difficult, but it takes a long time to get there. I'd rather have that fifth research slot, because we still have a lot of things we can research now. Um, so let's go a little crazy. And save. And maybe we can take on the Great Stampede? The Special Forces will do very well. I'm just worried about the infantry. If we do this... Oh, they're already fighting somebody. Oh, that helps out. Oh, they're fighting up north. Oh, well, then we better do this now. Glad we up to this now. Let's see. 46? That's pretty nice. Yeah, go in when you can. Do what you must. Um, we should, I don't think these are core territories. No, they're not, unfortunately. But, you know, whatever. The circumstances would still be very nice to do, guys. You know. There you go, see? All you gotta do is you can hear you hug back that way. Okay. Call upon veterans, modern voyagers, voyagers, folktale heroes that ship furs back and forth on canoes. Their journeys require tenacity, raw strength, and some grit. We're proud to say that we've had taken out that mantle, and our forces packed just as much punch, if not more, than these folk heroes. Awesome. Now, are these special forces just as good as ours? No, it does not look like it. Voyagers. They're 20 combat with, though. That's actually pretty good already. Uh, that's the case. Goodbye. So we're you're already met. Oh, hello. What the? Barnacles? Uh, I don't need supply right now. Uh, very good. I'm ignoring our industry in favor of special forces. I'm very biased. Yes, I know. Whatever. These guys are cut off. Good job, infantry. And the special forces are just going and taking everything they want. I like that. Ooh. Let's go ahead and build a, a couple more labs. You've earned it. Yeah, not bad. Here, just take this, this. It's gonna be a terrible way to go through here, but Basha, very nice. Uh, there's a lot of planes. I assume we're gonna be in a lot of planes, so I assume we're gonna do those. I could be wrong about that. Ooh, great stampede. That's what I want to take, at least. 
Eh, it's not bad overall. Or we just take it all ourselves. I mean, they're busy in the middle of a civil war, right? They don't have time for anything else. Except to kill each other, right? I think that's right. Oh, look at that. Look at all these ships we've got now. A whole massive, mighty navy. Augustus McLaws. Well, good luck, Augustus. Don't die now. Nope. Uh, we'll kiss you by one. Yay. Look at that. Uh, who can we do this to? Oh, oh we could war both of them. Well, I guess Mazda just screw it. Just say demand it now. Oh, Rosewood seizes territory. Following our ultimatum, Gloria Chase of Rosewood has seen wisdom and relayed a message to us, accepting our territorial demands. Rosewood soldiers have withdrawn from the border and left their own troops have rapidly moved to occupy the contested territories, as well as Pleasantdale. Oh, the situation may tense on the border for now. War between our three countries has been averted. Well, it's definitely going to affect their war effort. Hmm. You know, what would happen if, even though we said, yeah, we don't want war right now, what if we were lying? What if we were like, yeah, you know what, I think I do want a war. Oh, those soldiers from Pleasantdale got screwed over, though, as long as Rosewood can help those guys out. Or figure out what they should be, really be doing. Oh, maybe not. Maybe, oh, come on, Rosewood, what you doing? Uh, we're going to go with military academy training. And vehicle designer, APCs, sure. Economic advisors, infantry, I use, or infantry, infrastructure and whatnot. Uh, what do we want here? Economic researchers, hey, I forgot about Gray Stable. Very nice. More soft attack and better production costs? I think so. I read this one last time, so if you're about aviation, please go right ahead. Or oh, oh, here it is right now. There you go. You can pause the video if you like. Uh huh. Very nice. It'd be a shame if someone were smart and handsome and capable of leading a two-front war with very few divisions. Never mind. Okay, they join us in coalition. I am wrong. We're going in. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's not go in then. That means if we take out enemy territory... I got two more trade zones, actually. Oh, we're going to need a massive army to, to take these guys on then. The Republic of Three Rivers, if we wanted to fight them. These guys are allied. Ooh, does that mean... Pleasant Dale, Great Stampede. Old Believers, are you part of the group? Oh, you are. We need a ginormous army for this then. Uh-huh. That puts a wrench in our, uh, in our plans right now. Hmm. We uh, we can't really take these guys on these geese these guys on yet. Would Middlemark be possible? I know we're still doing our justify power thing, but still. Hmm. Well, at least we have five research slots now. That's actually pretty darn nice. Just a little more time to research, get things accomplished. Alright, industry, we're coming back for you. I didn't completely ignore you, just mostly. Uh, let's get that manpower first. So we went to war with Middlemark. We do have well, quite the large border with them. Quite a large border, indeed. Uh, renovating Highway 18, we'll do that one next. Simple. Easy. Nice to do. I don't believe we can increase this anymore, can we? No, we cannot. We're at level 8, which is good. So I suppose the next one we should do is this one. Rebuild the cultural centers. The fires of our capital succumbed to before our independence destroyed many of the few remaining records uh, of our history and language. Making the event a serious blow to national pride, any efforts to restore the security of the language must first restore these buildings and bolster the organizations dedicated to their operation. Max going Trading Outpost. Nice. Another two civvies. It's pretty good, too. Yeah, we'll come back over here. Boop. Thank you. Irrigation, nice. And boop. And we're no longer increasing our power. I suppose we could try to go to War with Middlemark. 
We don't have a lot of manpower, but it's going to take 140 days anyways. I don't even know how strong they are. After 31 divisions, we will be roughly where they're at as well. Uh, no, we're good. I build more labs. Huh. More propaganda. Well, now at this point, we got to save our PP to raise our conscription level. Well, I guess technically, could raise our conscription level more, but. Dave Infamy, lest we forget. It's 195 still, which sucks, but I'd rather have that now. Start, and we gotta start building up our army even more. Uh huh. So we need you, but where would we put you? Here, perhaps? Maybe we can. I mean, we do more spec ops too, but we just can't quite do that right now. Yeah, that was Legion and the NCR War. Very nice. Let's come over here and grab some military sending bonuses. And a new citizen's care package, because why not? Still a little ahead of time. Um, I've ignored the civilized tech for a little bit too. You know what? 0.3 more po recruitable population is not a lot, but it's something. 0.94, rebuild the cultural centers, fantastic. And we're almost done with our land auction too. Very, very good. What else we get down here? Oh, we can do this. More than 100 political power. Electronics. Or data conversion, you need more caps. More political power, less resource efficiency gain, more research speed, less passive caps, more industry. Uh, exchange of knowledge, well that's okay. I don't mind reading that, but still. Replace fundamental militia with a two-year conscription. Oh. Oh, look at this. Accept pigeon language variants. Well, that's not bad either. Appeal to the youth, we get more manpower. Protecting the culture of the Meta should be a communal effort that future generations carry forward. You can only ensure that if we provide them the opportunity to be properly involved in its process. Appealing to the strong sense of patriotism, the war for independence has inspired in them will raise the morale of the population as a whole. Uh, within the southwest of our borders reside some individuals from the Assinibon tribe who made their way north following their independence and the worsening conditions in the part of northern Montana. The descendants from Port Peck, they possess expertise in fixing old commu computer technology. Learning these skills would uncover data held in many old machines we possess, including historical records, but we'll go with the fun digital archival efforts. Regina has always been home to many other groups, but since we first assisted in the post-war construction, or reconstruction, but the kingdom made efforts to prevent cooperation and promote factionalism between us. In a gesture of good faith to rectify this, we can employ many of the ascent the Buon people's foremost electronics experts to aid in creating digital archives of all our critical data, safeguarding it for the future. Yeah, we'll go with that one. I like that one more. The more radio, too. Ah, we're done with building up Regina. Cool. There you go. Got a lot of... Why is it 90% 90, 90 done? Wow. That's pretty nice, actually. State of Moose Jaw, of course, is going to help out, too. As we're appealing to the youth. Well, the youth is your future. Never forget that. Demogra demographics? Demographics are your future, too. You know, some might not like to think like that, but you know, smart people do. Cool. Too bad we can't spend more bottle caps, but we get more political power out of this because we desperately need it. So we can core more stuff. Actually, speaking of coring, you know what? Screw We're going to start working down here, too. Refined tools are nice. Uh-huh. Good. Good stuff, good stuff. And maybe more of a Air Force, perhaps, eventually? Good. Find more scientists. Now, I don't want to spend any money, because that would ruin our focus right now. Let's click increase the power. Uh, oh, wait. Our expand army training is good stuff. We've not grabbed someone else here, because I want to get down to Military Academy officers first, hopefully. What do we have here? Join the Veteran warrior leadership, forced to battle and hardship. These strong words are fit to lead our men of the power of battle. Power of nepotism. Definitely this one. 23rd century code talkers. Ooh, intelligence agency informed department. Or, oh no, we've got to go industrial electronics. This is way better. Our work at the Asinibuan have paid dividends to our own understanding of operating computers, network infrastructure, and many rudimentary electronic devices which we once lacked. The knowledge to properly reverse engineer in this way. Our cultural revitalization has also provided the foundation for greater scientific and industrial development to the greater benefit of future generations, which we can get actually both of these, which is great. R rights for survivors. You lose organization, which I do not like. We can weekly war sport too. Safeguarded history, remove raising of Regina. Forward thinking. It's not bad. Fruits of labor, another research slot would be pretty good though. 
So the 23rd uh, century code talkers. One of our foremost barriers to the chief uh, as widespread adoption has always been practicality. After all, if a suitable niche to, uh, to separate it from more common languages can't be found, uh, what use is it to civilian life? With greater technological development and a realization of its utility and tactical understanding and counterintelligence, we found this niche. Hopefully it will be the first of many. Yeah, that'd be great. Alright, so we can go to war if we want to, and we do want to. Alright, so did we finish it? Yeah, we did. Good. So we can actually spend a little bit of money now. Optimize training so we get more stuff here. Um, that's actually six divisions. That's pretty good, actually. Do we have anyone else here? I don't really want to promote anybody else yet. I want to get... I can do professional mercenaries. Starting level new leader. <sighs> Fine. It's better than nothing. Well, level six attack. Holy crap, that's actually really good. He's already level four, so we're going to go with local leader, probably. Um... Life giver, and for now, you know what? You can be, you can have the mysterious ranger guy. Anyone else here? We have no more manpower. Not really ideal for attacking. Um, we do have a river in the north. I wonder, can we actually win a war like this? Well, they don't have a lot of divisions either. We'll see. We're gonna go to war with Penny. See what happens. Did you guys win? You guys win? Maybe. I don't want to attack in the north. Oh, I forgot about this. Oh crap. You better win. Huh. That's all I'm gonna say. Is you better win. Alright. Alright, well, how about this? You go here, and then half of you come back. And do that. See what you can do. Better radar, nice. Yeah, it's almost ahead. Not really ahead of time there. There you go. I really don't want to tackle these guys, but I think we're going to need the extra pressure on them. Oh, improvisation expert. You know what? Why not? Oh, we're out of command power. Dang it. If you get here or here, either one of these two. Hey, you already cut these guys off. That's fantastic. All right, we're doing okay. We are doing okay against Middlemark. They just opened up the new market, too. Which is awesome for us. Please. Oh, wait. I forgot about this one. No. Oh, well. Fall the National Guard. Well, good. Third century code doctors. Ah. And we're done with the land auction. Thank you. Electronics? Sophisticated. Love it. Ah, good. The imagery is here to help out too, which is awesome, 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 awesome. Awesome. Oh, aliens? Uh oh, MacArthur, what are you doing? Actually, MacArthur's getting destroyed by the Sisters of Steel, which we also might have to fight later on too. So we have to be careful about that. We've got a couple more laps. Still no manpower. What do you expect? I expect better. That's right. Uh, it's only 56. It's not going to do much for us, but whatever. We're down here. Let's we do this technology stuff. Uh, not really that close. There you go. Hey. Hey, beginning of the route. Nice. Good stuff. Can't promote another one. There you go. And there you go. another op. Stoon, is that the best one? Uh, nope, it's the only other one we got. Barrage balloons. Bomb gliders. We're doing very well. We're doing better than I thought we would. I thought we'd struggle at least a little bit more than what we were currently doing. But we're doing alright. We're gonna need more guns though. Oh, we could probably use better pioneer kits too. Couldn't we? All right, so we're men over bullets, um, trained militias, military first, night training, it's not bad, mercenary assistance, popular officers. Give everyone guns? No. Hmm. We're confederalists. Elites. Hmm. If we do what we must. He's popular. Why don't we do popular officers? I'm okay with that. So 
by ambush rods. Only the strong survive? I don't mind that one, yeah. We could fight for freedom, too. That wouldn't would be necessarily bad for us. I do like getting more HP, though. I think it'd be best if we do... Only the strong survive. Fruits of our labor. As it turns out, the momentum behind our language preservation has contributed greatly towards the focus on other academic fields. Greater security in Regina and other urban areas have provided a higher standard of living for our own people, making these efforts far more popular and providing for further innovation. Can't focus on the ground, we'll focus on the air. How are the special forces doing? So, uh, there you go, too. Oh, there's another instrument you're not taking advantage of. Alright, whatever. Pretty good. Calgary? The Reds in the North will come probably smashing down towards us too eventually, but you know, whatever. Uh, only the strong survive. Of course. A little increasing our power, huh? Oh, look at that. That's nice. Pretty good. William Trimble, welcome aboard. And we are not just fine. Eh, we got him. Look at that. Nice. Good stuff. So the Sisters of Steel are pretty large. They got the Ruminators. It's a massive army. They have no manpower like us, though. Um, we're still recruiting a massive army. We're going to definitely have to get involved in the North, though. Um, what if we take out Lloyd's Ministry first? Katharina, I'm sorry, but you're first on the docket. That's not too long for that. Hopefully, how much money do we have? Oh, six research slots. Fantastic. Come up here. Do that one, too. Alright, so that's the case. I forgot to look at Gray Stable and all some of these other places, too. Rights for survivors. We tend to wear our open-mindedness on our sleeve. But while our openness to other cultures is quite high, the same is not so true of our treatment of ghouls in the country. Aside from this being a moral failing, it also deprives us of the great wisdom and knowledge, some of which even predates the Great War. Emphasizing this fact will allow us to improve their social standing while providing the opportunity for us to learn all that they know. They weren't even using this. What the barnacles? No wonder you're poor. You need to take advantages of the stuff that you have available. That's how you get ahead in life. Take advantage of everything that you have. Maybe except people sometimes. Sometimes. And if you do have to take advantage of other people, make sure that they don't know about it and they're okay with it. Probably. Usually. See? Level 8. That's not bad. I'm actually making way more money. Alright, what else we got here? Uh, political power, absolutely. Oh, Calgary's another one too, huh? Which I'm sure I'm saying wrong. You know. I'm not Canadian. Pioneer gets pretty good. More defense, more armor. Love it. Boop. Pretty good. Well, we're already justifying on them, so I don't mind increasing your political power, shall we? Capitol Hill's gone. Goodbye, Capitol Hill. Thank you. Thank you. What military sending bonuses? Very nice. And you're done too. Great. Begin a route. Oh, you're level 10. Nice. Good stuff. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Except pidgin language variants. Much of the Metis's common use of Michif involves pidgins or simplified communication that mixes vocabulary from multiple languages. Hard lines of voice sought to standardize Michif's use, but the language itself was born out of the mixing of French and Cree languages. In some ways, embracing these different uh, or different or differing local dialects simply continues this tradition. The failed successor. Well, that sucks, bro. Did you want a crown? Hey! Spectacular indeed, Regina is a crown jewel. Plant doctors, yes, please. You go to the very top. Actually, they have anything. Uh, rally forces. Queen's guards. I spelled guard wrong. But not really. Because they're down here. Now we can replace these with forcers. Well, eventually. We'll get there. Actually, you know what? I'm going to make boost you up next. We can start using enforcers too. Welcome from is good enough for this campaign. 
Uh, oh. For Thunder Child, eh? So, when does this expire now? 7th of September. So, we've got quite a while. So, we better go in now. I assume, yeah, you're probably all out. Oh, and the Pioneer Company's manpower still. So, there's big grass. Very nice. Yeah, we're just walking in. Oh, man. This was not an easy nation playing as these groups. You guys can just walk in. I mean, for the most part, we're just literally just walking in here. Operating the potash mines, the colder temperatures make the land south of the Kuapel not as ideal for farming as it once was, but the area is fertile enough that it wouldn't be unreasonably difficult to make up for that fact. Luckily enough, the area is also home to many mines that harvested materials using fertilizer. Restoring them would not only improve our agriculture, but also provide employment opportunities. Yes, please. So, 17 versus 116. We did 100%. Uh, let's see what we can take. God, not very much, can we? Yeah, I guess we get more than I initially hoped for. Can we take this, please. Mm, thank you. That's nice. Um, sure. Port Saskatchewan. I can't take that. We can take this one, maybe. No, we want it. All right, not bad. Let's see who now wins this little conflict between these two. Pioneer Company or this other group? Line infantry. Cool. We're also going this way too. Uh, good. Blade is good. Oop. And even better corporation because it's only two percent. It's not very much at all. Side channel attack, cha ching. And anything here? Not that we really care about. Just between appointments. Or sports is only still only thirty-four percent, which is not very good. Optimize trading because you can. Uh huh. Goal recruitment. Recruit all mutants. There's a recovery rate too, which I don't like. Uh, Revitalize Weyburn. Though not our capital, Weyburn was once a substantial city in Saskatchewan in its own right. Considering the quality of arms and other supplies that the fur trade will need to blossom, restoring the place will provide a suitably secondary location for hunters and trappers to congregate and conduct their business out of. Very nice. Another population, but that's all right. Metals, very good. You go there next. Awesome. All right, a couple of scientists. A couple of army reserves would be nice too. Uh, since we're here, anyways, actually. So you're going this way. Get a little, slightly more political power that way. Crystal glass, awesome. No longer getting the effects of alien infestations. A little more research speed. So we have only six research slots. I mean, it can't get any worse than this, right? Power. Well, can we just find both these groups here? 65 days, and screw it, we'll do both. You don't want to do that one, but that's alright with us. Outside volunteers, outside of battalions. Revitalize Weyburn. Local processing. Um, since our inception, our people have prided themselves on their self reliance, something which the resolution of our agricultural issues is a testament to. Investing in local facilities for processing materials from the mines and their fertilizer will only accentuate this fact by promoting industrial development. Cha ching Oh, we can core this stuff up here too. Well, that'd probably be worth doing. Langenberg? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Biedberg? It's like there's industry in towns up here. Something. Elite forces? Great. Urbanization? Great. Political power? Fantastic. Yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Ooh, needed political power. Up that stability a little bit too. Span army training. Because we still need that. Cabine struts. 
Let's see. Gun, Spirit, Lake, or Robin. Either one doesn't really matter. Democracy. Well, democratic enough. Volleyball City. Monoplane Attackers. Monoplane Fighters. Excuse me, that was my drink I was drinking. Academia. It's fine. Local processing and strong domestic markets. Where the people being the producers of the same goods that are then reinvested into the communities. While the spirit is continue to decline as base communities become more widely available. This creates a reliable cycle of production and consumption that opens doors to greater profits from extensive trading with those outside of borders. Fantastic. Uh, you're more using this one anyways right now, why not? Good, good, good. Uh, we can help more settlements, but we don't really need that one as much anymore. There you go. Doesn't really matter which one we do there. Hey, got a little bit of uh, manpower to work with as well. Love it. Now, can we do this? Boop. And now, we're not mutants. We're not using robots. Either refined warfare, which we do if we have heavy special forces, but I guess conventional. Because that's the way we're going to roll in this campaign. Uh, still military sending bonuses, though. Interesting scare package. How bad is this? We got quite a bit of territory. Now, it's not very heavily inhabited. Inhabited. Uh, you know what? We got, for the most part, we're doing okay. Maybe after this war, we'll need to raise what we've got here. And, uh, I mean, like, get more money and whatnot. But, you know, whatever. All right, you guys are done. And when we get all the way up to here, no one's going to bother us past this point. So, we'll be okay. Hey, look at all the money we have anyways. Holy crap. Yeah, do it anyways. Who cares? Money is power. Oh, thinking metal, three out of three. Science points. Fight for glory. Red deer. Well, how badly they've been killing themselves. Not that badly. A couple divisions here and there. Hey, more military factories is a welcome change. We can't take everything, unfortunately. We'll take what we can. Think it'll really matter. Corruption or Regina. Uh, oh, we have free press. Well, I've got to change that. A scandal has rocked the Congress of Manito Manitoba. As the press has revealed that some of the Congress of Manitoba's leaders are taking bribes in exchange for government favors. Gun runners, uh, uh, Brahmin ranchers, and others have been abusing our nation for their own personal gain. Many critics wonder if the Congress of Manitoba is worth dying for if its leaders will tolerate this sort of misconduct. Well, root out this injustice. It's fine, whatever. A beaver's balanced breakfast. Initially, beaver ranges in Canada avoided having most exposure to nuclear fallout. When dropping temperatures forced much of the species for the south, however, many of the animals grew irradiated, one consequence of which was a loss in fur density that lowered yields for trappers. By introducing more nutritious crops and vegetation into the ranges, though, you could reverse this decline. So what are we missing now? Anything besides... Oh, we need a lot of guns. Nice. Even more research speed, because why not? And after that one, industrial heart. Uh, as a, oh, more development, yay. As the trade is reinvigorated, so too is Regina. The city's first recovery following the Great War took long enough that after the kingdom of scorched blocks of civilian neighborhoods, we knew it would take time before we could repair the damage. With the economy finally rising, undeterred by a foreign oppressor, that time seems to be now. Hunter militias. In times of war, when the will of our nation is tested, the expertise our hunters possess could also be turned towards def defending people's homes and communities. Assembling bands of these men and women into the West will ensure our rural areas are more than capable of holding an enemy at bay until the main army can arrive. Yeah, why not? I think it's Red Deer that has a trade node in here. Oh, yeah. Is it North Redmond? Yeah. There you go. You're going to get to Grand Prairie. You'll be fine, I'm sure. I'm not super worried about that at all. It's good. We don't have to go to war with the Republic of Three Rivers. We don't really have to if we don't want to. Uh, that's all good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Corporation costs. Good. Just real hard. Uh, continue to optimize trading, I guess, for now. That's fine, I suppose. Yes. Drop tanks, yes. More range, yes. Good, 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 good. And season expeditionaries. Now, yeah, this is more population too, which is fantastic. And infantry defense. 
When men and women of the trade return from the wilderness, it is with more than animal costs, coats, and pelts and tow. For there was a time when great swaths of Manitoba and Saskatchewan were known to us in detail. The Great War changed the landscape dramatically, though, and the kingdom's fall from the grace has done more so once more. But as hunters bring stories of the encounters home, our readiness to face the unknown only grows. Awesome. We are huge. Love it. You know what? We got two lines going here. Help them out here. You know what? Take three lines. There you go. And build faster and build more. Uh, yeah. Not bad. Loving the money right now. And. Get another research slot if we really wanted to, but I don't think we will do that one. Nice. So, how many divisions do you have now? Up to 79 still, huh? Well, you see, their sisters of steel, Pleasantdale, and uh, their group down there. Uh, can't really go there. A gateway? That means we need another army to go through here, though, and I don't really want that. I guess. I'm gonna steal it up, huh? Because really, as long as you can hold here in the center, yeah, that's the most important thing. Empiricism, soft attack, romanticism, efficiency base. Uh, just in case, especially if we go to war with them, we're probably gonna need rocket launchers. Uh huh. Uh huh. Maybe a couple more air bases too. Chemical bleaching is nice. Boop. Boop. And what else we got? Our base. Not a huge difference. Not a huge deal. But it helps, you know. Hmm. There's just a port. Ooh, what is this? Formerly a reconciled Lakota. If you want to read about Hello Metal or Hello World, please go right ahead. It's by our hands that we may grant the same peace to the Sioux that our ancestors once did and ate of them. We're keen to honor both of them and ourselves by offering our hands in celebration of our heritages. Even more so, we may continue our allegiances, allegiances into this new age. Well, we'll see. Oh, militia. Well, nice having militia. I mean, it's nice to have them. Don't get me wrong. But still. You know, that's the case. Goodbye. Um, you know, we're close. It's fine. Another field commander, then. Bruiser, reckless, charismatic, lucky. Love it. Look at him, level five. Awesome. Light touch, uh, melee hacker, junk rounds are okay. Um, uh, light touch. I'm not sure if infantry helps out with enforcers. I kind of hope it does, but it might not. You might be able to do that, maybe. Maybe not. I'm not entirely sure. at least 30. Sucks. There you go. Train. Good. Rocket launchers are nice. Get some frag granatas. Fragarinos. Works are good too. More output because my god do we need more output. And I guess we start justifying and see if we can do anything here. An audience for the Dakota or Tokala. Tokala. The history of the Metis and the Sioux is one of a tumultuous relationship. Mark with cycles of battle and treaties. So caught up or fighting over territory that we were that neither side could narrow their focus on the colonizing for forces that it left us fighting over a fraction of the land we once held. Uh, but following the last of these battles, when the Battle of Little Bighorn forced the hand of the American government, Sitting Bull has led us banned into Canada rather than surrendering. 
and as the buffalo disappeared and the band grew desperate, it was a French Canadian trader when aligned with and supplied by the Metis who gave all he had to feed the starving Sioux. Where few in the wasteland feel connection to their nationality, other ancestors, and fewer still care to carry on century old allegiances, the people of Standing Rock are not keen on following suit. They have far from forgotten their history, and is one that would like light a fire in a man that no other tribe's tale could match. Between their history with us and the history with Americans, it is unsurprising that a great sense of distrust pervades their approach to diplomacy. Promises and platitudes will fall on deaf ears with nothing to back them up, but there's proof in their actions in the final gesture of the traitor, Jean Louis Leger, and our support and enabling of him. The Kit Fox at their head remember the wrongs their people were dealt, reminding them of Leger, even as the war societies grow increasingly militant in their ambitions. Uh, May just allows to find an alliance where ancestors failed to in centuries past. We must try. Let's see what happens. You know, this one next day. Promote ship manufacturing. We've always been known as excellent shipwrights, but this industry has not thrived extensively since our independence from the monarchy was secured. Uh, pursuing greater developments uh, for the industry would be quite beneficial. Our diplomats have returned with news that Shapa Wagner of Standing Rock has accepted our offer for the cooperation between our peoples. The Sioux are ready, far from ready, to enter an open, into an open military alliance. I can totally speak today. And they put forward conditions for this process to start small. Their primary terms, aside from the exchange of certain technology, are the reenactment of a treaty between our nations and a mutual pledge to provide military aid when most necessary. Oh, excellent. Okay, interesting. Birch bark canoes. Our, oh, oh, you mother yucker. You gonna die. You must die. So, we should, sending those guys up there should be okay. Uh, oh, God dang it, come on. Engine investments, nice. Our craftsmen have long struggled to fashion canoes up to the standards due to the scarcity of birch trees locally. Importing it via the Assiniboine are practically given our tumultuous past with the monarchy. Uh, fortunately, traders recently arrived in Regina, um, southern tributaries with piles of lumber and reports of vacant forests in the north. With this new supply, uh, the shortages can finally be resolved. Great. Oh, god dang it, I hate this. Uh, well, we don't need all you guys here. Yeah, you need it. You need it. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. Well, as long as we have one division per tile, right? Safe Haven would be probably pretty good core. Uh, hmm? 13,000, almost 14,000. Yeah, that's pretty good to do, too. 2,000, well... I guess if we have to. Almost 10,000 is not bad. Goddard. Develop the river docks. The development that's begun on the riverbank has provided strong foundations for establishing a larger harbor there. This has allowed us to begin repairing several wrecked passenger boats and trading ships that we've left idle on the shore for quite some time now. It also improved Musomin's manufacturing base wholesale. Okay. Even better equipment, nice. Eh, make it reliable. Artillery's nice. Sure, why not? Since we're doing that, increase the political power. Might as well. Boop. And boop. Hey, we can actually do that too. Look at that. Nope. We got a good amount of it. How much should care about that earring? Nice. Definitely gonna need this. Capture of the Warren. Oh, it's a targeting computer. Well, I'm alright, computer. Let's see what you got. Fuel injection. These level five already, which is fantastic. We'll do local leader like normal and a better recovery rate. Uh, life giver. 
You'll start off with... Nerd Rage. Yeah. It's alright, whatever. Nice, we're done with those guys. Training, there we go. Time, you get basically better everything for the most part. Organization goes down quite a bit, but whatever. Actually, speaking of organization, I should probably do some of this stuff too. Apparently. That's basic crawl control gear. It's not very good. Yeah. We're definitely going to put more stuff on there. Basic weapons are fine. Good. Hit a little hard with this stuff. Northern Saskatchewan exports. It's time we take advantage of foreign markets for our goods. The Iron Confederacy has been allies of ours ever since a corporation in the fur trade in the Northwest Rebellion led by Louis Riel, a favor which we returned during the civil disobedience towards American occupation. Um. Potash already is commonly bartered for by local arms merchants, so why shouldn't we emulate this exchange elsewhere? The Free States of America, huh? Nice. Scavengers found something. Hey, more money, basically. Good stuff. Military sending bonuses, always good. That's always good, too. Still waiting. I think we're pretty much done with all this stuff here. Optimized training, army training. Sure, why not? Browning. That's pretty good core. Yeah. Why not? Additional plating's good, 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 good. This one's almost done as well. Electrical capacitation, yes. Nice. Ah, now we're going to send a technolo technological ex excellency. Develop the river docks. The development that's begun on the riverbank has provided strong foundations for establishing a large harbor there. This has allowed us to begin rapidly repairing wrecked passenger boats and trading ships that we've left idle on the shore for some time now, as well as improving Moss the Moon's manufacturing base sale. Which so I read it earlier. Why, why am I reading that again? Because I forget what I read. Better defense. Better combat weaponry. Better special, better special forces stuff. Boom, 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 boom. Alright, and we actually have a little bit of manpower too. Go figure. And I guess we can go there too. Build up everything you possibly can for now. And stop training. What do we be able to hold? Two divisions roughly per tile? One to two? Maybe? Oh, we also gotta do conventional warfare, but we're almost done with this episode as is. Let's see what we can do here. They start attacking us and we start losing. Well, not ideal. Can we win over the river at all? Do they have any manpower? They have no manpower. Any damage we do will be okay. Well, that makes it a little more easier to defend. It's fine if they want to do that. Hmm. We got the money for it. Might as well do new citizen's care package too. How's the air looking? We got green air? Nice! We're doing some decent damage, too. It's awesome, awesome, awesome. And the river's a boon. As the harbor grows, so, do, so too does its facets. The natural resources of the shoreline were always sufficient, but as trade goes underway, additional mer supplies are su materials are supplied, and the capacity to use the river is a bountiful resource of energy and drinking water improves. It has improved so much so, in fact, the rural areas have become home to a breadth of new settlements. Awesome. Force defense. Better. That's a pretty, pretty struggle bus in here. Um, 
robotics. Which kind of sucks for us if you're a robotics person. I guess awareness. Common weaponry is good. Getting assault rifles are pretty nice. Well, we're doing all right in places here and there. Not all over the place, unfortunately. Tons of infantry armor. We got quite a bit of red here, but like I said, any damage we do, they can't really do against us. They can't replace their, their you know, lost divisions and whatnot. You know what? My monthly population sounds good to me too. Local power is good. Because we're also fighting uh, some of the Brother to Steel divisions too, huh? Air food restoration, which I think we read last time too, but maybe this, please go ahead. Distinguished culture. The Metis always transcended social and ethnic boundaries, and this is what truly steered the course of our development. Preserving our history is critical, this much is true. We should derive the correct lessons from it. Our origins lie in the transformation of distinct cultures into something whole. Acceptance of the sort of change over generations is, in fact, true to our identity. Pushing hole pretty well in the center of the east, or the west, I should say, is not doing bad. The far west, though, not very good. But we're gonna make a change now. I guess after this one, uh, safeguarded history. We've successfully reversed the effects of Virginia's raising at the hands of the Manitoban Crown's forces, cementing our efforts towards uh, further learning, reconstruction, and a brighter future for the Metis in the face of those who would let it burn. Oh, Imperium, huh? That's a clever, nice, good stuff. Oh, wow, holy crap. Good job, Kaisar. Even better infantry armor now. Wow. Kaiser's Legion has done it. Jumbo old packs looking pretty good. Texas Economic Union. Northern Union. Oh, that's pretty big. Silex Nation. Oh, man. Oh, they actually took out the Washington Brothers. Holy crap. Even the Pass Givers have done very well, too. Oh, Smoky Fathers. Can we not pierce them or something? No, we can't. Capture Lost Hills. Wow. That's kind of insane. That's cool, though. Basic infantry equipment. Eh, we'll do you as we can. Not worth doing that. Eh. Gateway. Bro, we are literally in the middle of a war right now. Can I just give them money for them not to attack us? How do we repel them? Okay then. Hey, look at this. It's not bad. Not great, but not terrible. Yeah? Oh, there's good stuff. Good, good, good. Hello? Are you going to do something? Out of any group that's not moving, it should absolutely not be the Special Forces. We should die here soon, though. I'm going to be lost. 4,000, 5,000, basically 5,000 versus 6,000. And of course, 12,000 with the Ruminators helping them out, too. Good, thank God. We got him! I think we got a lot more than just Manitoba here. Might be dipping into Montana. But that's alright with us. Bears, corporation costs, fantastic. I don't think we'll go to war with these guys. Oh my gosh. Well, there goes Standing Rock. What am I 
killing these guys off though. More than 70 days? Well, we we'll probably won't get there. Well then, uh, I don't want to deal with these guys. I mean, don't get me wrong, our divisions are actually halfway decent now. What territory would they want? Uh, they want this territory. A Republic of the Three Rivers. That makes absolutely no sense to me whatsoever. It's not even a trade node. Uh, steady drop up in trajectories. Well, we'll do this one first. We're gonna do this one. Please go ahead. Boop. Study engine blueprints. Studying these old blueprints, or better yet, giving our engineering team blueprints to study at all, is bound to better their understanding of the old world's arsenal or aerial constructions, and lead us to developing our own, perhaps even better than what they made them. Bro, we just gave you territory. Yeah, I know, you can go kill yourself now. We're gonna go kill you now. We're gonna get smashed really hard. Um, honestly, I think I'm pretty much done with this campaign. I feel like the 53 divisions, yeah, we'll see. Of course, they have the old believers here too. But we do have Moose Jaw as well, which isn't very good, but whatever. We're not going to talk about that. We're going to need you now. I know you're very green, but it is what it is. Uh, I need you to move now. <laughs> we should actually be able to push pretty hard against the old believers here and there. And even down here too, yeah, we'll definitely push in the south. Shipment, huh? Very nice. No command, uh power, but whatever. Well, you want to dance? I'm ready. Your force is good, it's nice. Oh, that's been nice to do, but we don't have quite the XP we need for that. Uh, 111, huh? Dough rollers. Are they going to go to war with us? Maybe, maybe not. And we gave them stuff earlier. Even though it's completely away and they can't even do anything with it. But still. Nice, good stuff. Telephones. Thank you. And then our last focus, firepower of the old role, artillery ammunition. Though increasing, or through the increasing the robustness of an organization of both our ground as well as aerial forces, our might has increased tenfold. We may now fully utilize uh, the might of the old world soldiers, the powerful artillery raining down upon the enemy from the skies above, even if it came from the ground. Well, that's cool. Now they must be very tricky not to want to come fight us. And be a local leader. And nerd rage enforcers, yeah, sounds good to me. You guys are all completely green. We just literally just gave you the armor and like, hey, get to the border. Here's some battle plans, and then that's it. Good, good. Oh, look at all this fight training. Ready's use of a fighter strategy. Practice ground force coordination. Deploy at least 75 strategic bombers at war. Oh, that's cool. Wars of the New World. We've achieved technological excellence. Oh, yeah, good. Combined assault. That's pretty nice. Let's 
Sophisticated air tech, vehicle tech, special forces would be nice. Sophisticated power armor? Oh man, that would be awesome. But I think air tech would probably be the best one for us. I mean, that just makes the most sense for us, does it not? That is awesome. Well, I guess another research slot. Why not? And we could go to war with them if we really wanted to. We have a slight bit of manpower now. But do I, do I want to go to war with them? That's a real question. Boop. 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 Mm, maybe not. I mean, what, what, what do we get out of it if we go to war with them? Not really much. Let's at least complete the focus. But we need to go to the style. Yeah. Calgary would be worth corn. Let's go up here. 104, of course. And then again, it's going to cost 209. Oh my god. Where's 111 right there? Holy smoky fathers. Mechanized training? Cool. Firepower of the old world. Some artillery shells. That'd be fantastic, but I think we want it there. We've done very, very well. Um, we, we became the Congress of Manitoba, which is what we really wanted. We lost this territory here, but we have a port where we can just ferry soldiers over. So I'm not really worried about that. We can still go through the governorship of a moose jaw. So I think overall, we're doing pretty darn well in this campaign. If you enjoyed the campaign, though, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching, and have a tremendous Congress of Manitoba rest of your day.